and the handoff has occurred. Atlantis's computer is now controlling. 25. 20. Firing chain is armed. Sound suppression water system activated. 10. Minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5. Three main engines up and burning. 2, 1. And liftoff of Space Shuttle Atlantis, opening a new chapter in the completion of the International Space Station for the collaboration of nations in space. Roger, roll, Atlantis. Houston is now controlling. The roll maneuver is underway. Atlantis is heading into a heads down position on course for a 51.6 degree, 137 by 36 statute mile orbit. already two miles downrange from the Kennedy Space Center at an altitude of 2.8 statute miles. Engines now at 72% beginning to throttle back up as the vehicle passes through the area of maximum dynamic pressure. Atlantis Houston, go at throttle up. Copy. Go ahead, All three liquid-fueled engines are back at full throttle. One minute, 20 seconds into the flight. At liftoff, the fully-fueled shuttle, boosters and external tank weighed about four and a half million pounds. It now has burned half of that weight in propellant. Solid. Solid rocket boosters are burning 11,000 pounds of propellant every second. Coming up on uh, 1 minute 45 seconds. Standing by for first stage uh, separation of the uh, solid rocket boosters. Atlantis is at an altitude of 129,000 feet, 24 miles in altitude, 25 miles downrange. All three engines are still performing as expected. SRB separation and staging confirmed. All three electrically producing fuel cells are uh, operating as expected, as are the hydraulic systems, the auxiliary power units. Two orbital maneuvering system engines on the tail of uh, Atlantis now assisting with uh, the ascent performance. Those engines will burn for a little less than three minutes. Two minutes, 45 seconds, Atlantis, 61 miles from the Kennedy Space Center. Atlantis, Houston, two-engine Maroon. Copy, two-engine Maroon. Atlantis can reach Maroon in Spain in the event of a single-engine failure. However, all three are still uh, operating as expected. Atlantis, Houston, for Brent, high-load duct heater to Alpha slash Bravo. High-load duct heater, Alpha slash Bravo. Good copy, and we're seeing some ice in the high-load fess. Copy, we'll watch it. Brent Jett uh, in the forward uh, left seat. Chris Ferguson, the pilot of the mission, in the forward right seat. Dan Burbank between them and behind them. And uh, Canadian astronaut Steve McLean uh, behind uh, pilot Chris Ferguson. Down on the mid-deck, Joe Tanner closest to the side hatch of the orbiter, and uh, Heidi. Uh, Stephanie and Piper in the uh, down on the mid deck with Tanner. Engines beginning to throttle back to lessen the uh, aerodynamic loads on the vehicle as it approaches uh, main engine cutoff. Standing by for that call. And main engine cutoff has been confirmed.
ET separation confirmed. Atlantis now uh, off of the external tank. Uh, Commander uh, Brent Jett will fire the uh, pulsey engines on Atlantis to position it for uh, photography of the tank as it falls away. Beautiful view of Atlantis as it uh, falls away from the tank. You can see the jets firing uh, those reaction control system jets to position the orbiter. Atlantis Houston, nominal Miko. Ohms 1 is not required and no action on the cabin DPDT. Nominal Miko, Ohms 1 not required and no action on the DPDT. Thanks, Houston. Space Shuttle Atlantis uh, safely back in space for the first time since October of 2002. Speed 470 miles an hour. Altitude 1,000 feet. 13 miles of the runway. This is a view from the heads up display providing a point of view of the pilot. Atlantis Houston, you are on at the 90. Copy, on at the 90. That call of the shuttle is on course at 90 degrees as it aligns with the runway. Commander Brett Jett now controlling again. A minute 45 seconds to touchdown. Houston runway, three trees in sight. Atlantis, Houston copies, field in sight. Speed 400 miles an hour, the runway in sight. Altitude 100,000 feet, or just about two miles. Six and a half miles to touchdown. Speed 400 miles an hour. One minute to touchdown. Thirty seconds to landing. Three hundred seventy miles an hour. Altitude two hundred twenty-five feet. Gear down the loft. You deploy. Now it's your touchdown. We'll stop. Welcome back. Congratulations on return to assembly. We have no immediate post-landing deltas. We'll meet you on page 5-3 for post-landing. Thank you, Houston. Uh, it's nice to be back, and uh, it's a great team effort, so I think assembly's off to a good start. We'll see you on 5-3.